Today on Riff's Beards and Gear, I give away the cheapest guitar on Sweetwater. So a few weeks ago, I checked out the cheapest guitar from Sweetwater, and it happened to be this Epiphone Les Paul SL. And in that video, I said, you know what, maybe I should go ahead and fix this thing up and then give it away to one of you guys. And that is exactly what we are doing in this video. But before we go any further, I wanted to shout out Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. And they basically let me go onto sweetwater.com and they let me just shop and they let me order anything I needed to make this guitar as best as it could be. So huge thank you to them for being so cool and letting me just really make an awesome guitar. Now, spoiler alert, I didn't actually fix up the guitar. I took this guitar to my tech, Mr. Mark Stockwell, because there was some actually some in-depth stuff that needed to be done, namely with the frets that were basically out of my ability range. Um, I am not the guy to do a full on fret level and recrown and dress. So I took it to a professional and I had him do the bulk of the work on this guitar. So also huge thank you to Mark for doing the work and making this guitar awesome as well. So first let's start with the tuners. The tuners I put on are genuine Gibson Cluson style vintage machine heads. And these seemed like aesthetically a good fit and they also dropped right in with the vintage tuning post, so I didn't have to enlarge the peg holes on the headstock itself. The tuning is very, very stable on this guitar. Next, I installed a Graftec Tusk nut. Uh, this nut requires no lube of any kind. The strings just cozy right up in there, and it feels very good, and it sounds really good, and it also looks really good as well. So yeah, it's really a win-win. I also went ahead and added genuine Schaller strap locks to the guitar. Uh, these obviously do not have a strap. I'm gonna let you put your strap on these. Next, for the pickups, I chose a Seymour Duncan JB Jr. in the bridge and a little 59 in the neck. This is a great classic combination and the small single coil sized humbucker versions sound just as amazing as their big brothers. I'm really happy with how these sound. It makes this just a really straightforward, very rock and roll sounding guitar. And lastly, as far as parts go, I installed a Graftec Resomax bridge courtesy of Graftec. My friends at Graftec were nice enough to send this bridge along with the uh, applicable posts uh, to go into this. This really made a huge improvement on sustain and overall sound quality as the stock bridge was basically, it was just pop metal and the strings just wrapped around it. It was really, really lightweight and wasn't super great. So it, this bridge, I would say, made the most amount of difference as far as playability and tone. And finally, as far as setup go, there was a complete setup done, and Mark went ahead and leveled the frets and crowned them and polished them. He really made this thing play as best as it possibly can, and it plays very, very well. The factory fret job was all sorts of varying radiuses, radii, um, per, depending on where you were on the fretboard. Now it is comfortable, it is sleek, and it's it's deadly, man. So if you would like to win this guitar, all you have to do is click the link down below in the description and enter your email address. Now, I will have prefaced this by saying this is applicable to US residents only because, sorry, I am paying for the shipping of this guitar and uh, shipping this to Indonesia or Europe or somewhere like that. Uh, too much of a chance for this to get smashed by customs, which has happened to me in the past, and also just price, because you know, if shipping over to Europe would cost more than the actual guitar is worth at this point. So US residents only. This giveaway ends in one week from today, which is a Tuesday. So next Tuesday, we will close it down, and then we will pick a winner to win this Epiphone Les Paul SL that has been totally fluffed and pimped out I will include some swag. Huge shout out to Sweetwater, 
Graph Tech and Mark Stockwell for making this possible. Good luck to everyone that's entering. And uh, yeah, we will see you next time. Fluff out.